Time to go. Cue the music. <laughs> More or less time. We're it's going to Philadelphia scene, Eagles Cole. edition. It is a great scene. Adrian. You pointed out how they dubbed in that track. Over yeah. Now let's start with Sam Bradford. Right. We're yeah. dubbing in over here. 3,725 mm-hmm. passing yards in 14 games a season ago. So when it comes to yards, more or less than that in 2016, my friend. I say more, I, I, you know, okay. because it's not that hard to get 3,700 yards. 3,700 yards used to be a really great season. Anymore, it's so easy to even get to 4,000. Yeah. One, the rules changes. And two, look, what do the Eagles just say about Carson Wentz? They don't want to play him, right? Mm-hmm. Which means Sam Bradford's going to be there for 16 games. How many yards do you have to average to get to 3,700? You don't even have to average 250 yards a game. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think it's going to be that hard. You're wrong, Elliot. Yeah. Oh, You're yeah. wrong. Wow. It's going to be less. Wow. It's going to be less. Listen, Doug Peterson's offense is a run-first yep. scheme. Mm-hmm. They believe in that. That's their philosophy. His last three years in Kansas City, they were 24th at the highest in passing yards. Flip side of the game, they were top 10 in rushing uh-huh. all three of those seasons. So they're going to run the football. They're going to feature Ryan Matthews. They're going to feature Darren Sproles. Okay. Those guys, give those guys an opportunity to be careful. Doesn't mean Sam Bradford won't Kenyon be productive, Barner. but it yeah. won't be 3,700 yards. It's, it's easy to throw for 3,700 yards because last season I came up 3,700 yards short of – all right. 3,700 <laughs> yards. Yeah, walk out of bed and do that. Well, no, I think that's a great point. So, Sam Bradford, 19 touchdowns last year. Is mm-hmm. he going to have more or less than that this year if they're going to be running the ball so much, Chris? I'm going to go more because okay. I think he's still going to be productive, but they're going to have a run-first philosophy, but they're going to mix in play-action shots. There are going to be a lot of opportunities yeah. for them to take advantage mm-hmm. of. Over the top with the defense is sinking down to stop sure. that run. I think Zach Ertz is due to step up this year. He's going to be more of a prominent role, particularly in the red zone. They mm-hmm. paid him that nice yeah. big contract they're going to use them they're going to show him off so I'm definitely going to say more touchdowns for Sam Bradford it's interesting how we never mentioned Nelson Aguilar <laughs> at, at all you know what if they really were able to get something out of that guy I tell you what 19 touchdowns is not going to be too hard I think it's more Sam Bradford had 19 last year he played those 14 games Mark Sanchez remember had to come in That's I nice. agree with you I think he's going to be productive and if he gets 3,700 yards I think it'd be very difficult to not get 19 touchdowns. All right, what about a young man like Ryan Matthews? Last season, 539 yards. Of course, we know that he split time with DeMarco Murray, a guy that uh, Howard Eskin called a stiff. Not once, (laughs) but but twice here on yesterday's show. So more or less than 1K for Matthews in 2016, friends. I'm going to go more on this. I think it is a little bold to say that, given his injury history. But with the San Diego Chargers, man, he he had a very good year a couple years ago. It's been about staying healthy. Mm -hmm. Last year, he averaged over a yard more per carry than DeMarco Murray. I think he's out to prove something. I think this is the best player the Eagles have in their backfield. And Darren Sproles is mostly a third down back. Yeah, I see this one the same way you do. I think it's more, you mentioned the average yards per carry, five yards a carry last season. If he stays on the field, the Philadelphia Eagles brought in Brandon Brooks from the Houston Texans to play guard to help out on the offensive line. So that's a good addition for him right there. And then you start looking at the philosophy of Doug Peterson. He's going to get the volume of carries. He'll have the opportunity. Yeah, and Ryan Matthews will just get used more because, like you said, DeMarco Murray won't be there to compete with the carries. Now, another Matthew, Jordan Matthews, just three yards short of hitting over that 1,000-yard season last year, so more or less than 1,000 yards in 2016. I think he has to be more than a 1,000-yard receiver for them. I mean, they're just not strong Mm -hmm. at that position group. I do like Zach Ertz a lot. One thing, though, just about the Eagles receivers in general, not specifically just to Jordan Matthews, but they got to catch the ball. Hey, yeah. If you watched the Eagles last year, drops. oh, man, so many key drops for this team. It must have been so frustrating for Eagles fans. And, yeah, Jordan Matthews was one of the guys mm-hmm. that had those drops. Not a lot of fighting for the football either. You know, yeah. we were talking about Laquan Treadwell for the Vikings winning Rookie yeah. of the Year. He'll get up. He'll fight for the ball, body positioning. The Eagles receivers just didn't see that. I think Jordan Matthews, though, will develop. These are young players that yep. we're talking about, Aguilar, Jordan Matthews. Yeah, I, I see it I see it more as well. I think he's going to be a 1,000-yard receiver. Again, the commitment to the running game, that's going to drop that eighth defender down in the box. It means single high coverage. That means man-to-man on the outside, opportunities to make big plays in the passing game. Mm-hmm. Jordan Matthews will take advantage of those situations. I'm going to say more. Mm, how about when it comes to wins, more or less in 2016 than seven, Elliot? I got to push on this, and I think most people think the Eagles are going to be 5 and 11 or 6 mm-hmm. and 10, but Philadelphia has a knack for winning games that you just don't expect them to win. And then. You got to like that week four bye. Yeah, but who would have thought? If we, all right, I, I get what you're saying, Coscarelli. Yeah. Hey, last year, if you looked at the Eagles' schedule and you saw that game at New England, you're thinking, oh, that's a loss. Mm-hmm. Well, it wasn't, you that's know, right. and that's the way it works. The NFC East, these teams split quite a bit. I see them eking out seven wins. Don't ask me how to do it. Hey. <laughs> Looking hey. at their schedule. 
Okay, they could start. They could start two and zero. They're losing to Pittsburgh. Yep. They could beat Detroit. They, they could be. They could beat the Red Three and one. Mm-hmm. They could be four and one. They're not losing. They're week not eleven, beating. week twelve, week thirteen. Yeah, so I don't losing. know. Seattle, Atlanta, Green Bay, yeah. Cincinnati. Take That's a look a at win. the back end of that, that yeah. season too. Bengals, Redskins, Packers, Seahawks, Falcons. Come on, it's, it's, a, six wins, it's a six and ten ball, six and six and ten ball club. Yeah, no, there's not eleven wins on that schedule. The early buy is going to kill them, and he's talking talking about the road games against Seattle and Cincinnati late in the season. Come on. Man, Come you on. just had Doug Peterson for Coach of the Year. I didn't say that. Talking I mean, about his listen, running the if ball. They don't, if they don't fix the turnovers, there's not going. That shaky secondary mm-hmm. as well. It's not going to be Coach of the Year. They mm-hmm. got to fix those things. So you say six and ten. You say seven and nine. Seven and mm-hmm. nine.